Let's go. Lady Seralia agreed to join me. And every time they join me, I get right to rule. So that's great. I think I actually messed up a little bit when I was naming my faction. Because in this mod, they all start with the. And then mine is just Kingdom of Midnight. Or I probably should have made it the Nation of Midnight. Um, actually, you know what? I can rename it. So you do take an action. Rename your kingdom. The Nation of Midnight. Okay, that's much better now. So I actually do not know what happened to Lady Seralia. She was a prisoner of the Shan Chan when I asked her to join me, but I have not seen her at all. So maybe that's why she hasn't showed up. Okay, I found her. You can see her right there. If you look at the prisoners right below my cursor, she's up at the top. So I am going to break her out. Hopefully this doesn't start a war between us, but if it does, then so be it. So I think I can fight these guys off. So I'm not going to try to set a distraction. Give me the keys to the cell now. Oh wow. It's harder than I thought actually. Nice. You keep well behind me. So they're not using magic, I guess. Oh, okay, they try to. What? He's like glitched in here or something. What the fuck? Okay, nice. And it looks like I will be able to add her to my kingdom now. That's great. And it looks like the Shan Chan are not mad at me for doing that. Okay guys, so it looks like two of my lords are martial and one is calculating. And I'm actually going to put a link to a guide in the description that tells you how to determine what type of personality that lords are. It's pretty useful. And I'm also going to put a link in the description on a thread which talks about lord types and which lord types are the best to have. I don't know how accurate this is, but it seems decently reliable. So I'm going to try to form my strategy around that. So apparently honorable lords are the best to have, but it's hard to get them because they're loyal to their monarch usually. The second best is supposedly martial, and that's because it seems like they're less likely to defect from you than circumstantial and dishonorable lords would be. And then circumstantial lords are not the best, but apparently they're better than dishonorable lords. So I definitely want honorable lords, but I think I'll have to settle for martial and circumstantial lords for now. I mean, I could probably recruit dishonorable lords just to get my right to rule up, but they'll probably have a low relationship with me because of my high honor anyway. So they'll probably just decline. But yeah, like I said, I don't know how accurate this stuff is, but I did a lot of research online and I'm really not finding much else. So this seems decently reliable, but yeah, it feels good to have a plan. So I'm going to treat my martial lords really well. And then I'll probably only give circumstantial lords just one village and nothing else. And if they end up defecting, then I don't lose anything anyway. Okay, I'll give Malden to Seralia. Nice, so another lord agreed to join me, so more rights for roll. I'm at 53 right now. Hmm, I am taking a little bit of a hit each time I give a fief out. Okay, so I just found Wave Mistress Malin. And from this page, I found out that she's overpowered as hell, with 1900 renown, and she's supportive of me. Okay, looks like I have an opening. I'm actually a little triggered because I don't know what lord type she is. I should have checked. So it seems like the middle option has the highest success rate because it works on the most types. So I was rejected by her, but it did turn out that she was an honorable lord. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, great. So another lord just agreed to join me. So it does look like some of my vassals did start training carry in troops. If you look at the bottom of this guy's party, you'll see some. And then it's the same with this lord as well. So I think that changing your kingdom's culture does make them train a specific type of troop. But I'm going to turn that off. Because I want my lords to use the troops of their base culture. So I've given out a few fiefs. And I actually do think I'm ready to declare war and take more lands. Mirandi has many lords, but they don't have that much land. And they're at war with Andor right now. So I think that they're actually a pretty easy target to take on.
Um, I did lose some relationship with my lords. So that's not good. Okay, so maybe there is a better way to declare war than to just straight up attack someone. I'm the marshal right now, so I would actually like to party up and start a campaign against them. And hopefully they'll fall in line. But I might not have enough of a relationship with them to do that. Okay, they're following me now that they've looted all the villages. Okay, let's siege this. So it seems like we have like 600 troops. And this castle has a garrison of like 300. So it does seem favorable. I wonder if I wouldn't be better off just like looping around from behind and trying to go for 1v1s. Okay, so this is actually a really long walk, so, uh, sort of regretting this. These Morandi Berserkers seem really good. Here they are. Oh no, fuck, I can't. I'm, I'm screwed. Seems like their overhand strike goes through blocks. Uh, fuck, man. What the fuck? We are actually taking a lot of casualties from these guys. So everyone return home. And I'll come and finish this myself. These guys are way stronger than the Altara. Wow, fuck, man. Fuck. So there aren't many troops left in here, but there are tons of lords. Maybe they'll attack me while I'm sieging. That would be great. So every time one of my archers dies, I just go and pick up their quiver. So you can actually do a lot of work before the siege tower even gets there. And actually, if I do win this battle, I'll probably get tons of honor from all the lords that I capture. So that's actually pretty exciting. Okay, we're starting to slaughter them now. Fuck. Are you serious? They're like pincering me. I fucked up. Whoa. Fuck, man, are you serious? I took the other way around again, and then they all just started rushing me. Fuck. Okay, nice, we won. So, it looks like they all escaped. Wow, so that's actually pretty crazy. 80 wounded and only 5 dead. So that just goes to show how important the surgery skill is. If I had put more combat stats onto my surgeon, then the, her surgery skill would have been a lot lower. So something that I have not been exploring is you visit these way gates. So it's actually pretty spooky in here. Okay, so apparently there are seven enemies. Not really sure what's going on. So I guess my companions are fighting guys, I, I don't know. Garel, Karoman, Waygate. I guess I'll just go in. Okay. Okay, the Arin Madora Waygate. Okay, so it seems like you can teleport from each different Waygate to a different area. So that's kind of neat. Wow, that's a big bandit party right there. They are huge. Okay, so I never really went over the skills. So channeling affinity pretty much gives you more mana, I'm pretty sure. So you can cast more spells. 
Air makes your air spell stronger. Fire makes your fire spell stronger. Water makes your water spell stronger. Earth makes your earth spell stronger. Um, I guess the correct name for them is weave. And spirit makes your spirit weave stronger. So pretty straightforward, I guess. Okay guys, so I actually did think about learning magic. I've been put two points into channeling affinity and some points into channeling. But I'm actually starting to think that I can't learn to channel because I went on the mod page. It said that if you want to be a caster, you have to pick novice or wilder in your character creation if you're a female or wilder if you're a male. And I didn't do that. So I think that I might not be able to learn magic. So I'm going to take these two points back. And I will put a link to the mod page in the description so you guys can read that for yourselves. I'm going to help my two lords in this battle so I can get extra relationship points with them. So we are really just destroying these guys right now. 450 against 75. I'm not even going to fight in this battle because like we outnumber them so much. I'm just going to sit here in AFK and uh, hopefully get some honor if we capture him. So it's going to be 400 against 400. <laughs> Fuck. So this does seem like it will be a little bit of a grind. Let's take these guys out once and for all. Okay, so we killed 300. This seems kind of tough. Have these grubs with me. Faction eliminated. The nation of Mirandi is no more. So nice. I've eliminated two factions so far. So I want to take in more lords, but I think that I have to be careful because while I gain 10 relationship with one of my lords every time I give them a fief, I lose two relationship with all the other lords. So I think that I'm going to only give my castles and towns to four or five of my strongest lords and pretty much just stack them up. And then the rest of my lords will be weak. But I do think there are other ways to get a higher relationship with your vassals other than giving fiefs. I know that you can hold feasts and that those are pretty effective, but I can't do that since I'm not married yet. But other than that, I think I can send gifts. And I've never really done this before, but when handing out fiefs, you can ask them what they think should happen. So yeah, who should receive the fief of Morella? This guy supports itself. So hopefully this will help them not be as angry when I give other people feats. This guy supports himself too. Might be a problem. But yeah, overall, from what I've seen, it's a lot better to have a few lords that are really strong and that you have a good relationship with than a bunch of lords that are weak and that don't like you. And I'm definitely going to prioritize what kind of troops they have when I'm selecting my lords. This guy will have pretty strong troops with the red hand, so I definitely like him. But this guy has trash Altara troops. So uh, yeah, I would like to replace this guy for sure. Okay, Lady Atheline agreed to join me. Okay, let's try sending some oil to Enric. And I had put the oil in my household possessions. So maybe that will help me gain a relationship with him. My caravan has brought oil to Count Enric. See if he liked it. You know what? It does not seem like he liked it. So that kind of sucks, I guess. Yeah, this guy is losing th three relationship with me every time that I give out a fief. So Malin is definitely not good. Okay, wait. So I just asked him who should receive a fief and he said count Malin. So wow, actually, this is good. So if I give Malin a fief now, I bet the others won't be mad.
I can ask him to change his mind as well. That's pretty interesting. 